Okay. Well, this weekend was fun, but not fun at the same time. Um, I hadn't been on because my phone's been freaking out for the for the last four days or whatever. Um, it started doing some really weird, weird stuff. Um, yeah, I'm still having problems with the charging. Um, but it was glitching really, really bad. I couldn't take, I couldn't watch YouTube. I couldn't, um, take video. I couldn't make a video or anything because it kept pausing. It kept doing all kinds of weird stuff. And last night, I finally had to do a, um, a factory reset and completely reset the phone. I saved as much stuff as I could, but a lot of the video and stuff that I had wouldn't save to the SD card. I couldn't get it to save to the SD card. And I lost a bunch of stuff um, from the last four days. Um, it is what it is. I don't know if I'm going to end up having to replace this phone. I'm just going to have to see if it'll charge tonight while I'm at work. I had a uh, I've, I've tried a dozen different charge cables and I just bought a brand new one. So we'll see what happens. But then between this weekend, we had um, my wife's nephew's birthday on Saturday. He turned 12. So we ended up having a birthday party and then it's a, then it's a holiday weekend. So we ended up having cookout and a bunch of different stuff and yeah my weekend was ruined but i take full responsibility for that i completely just i completely destroyed my diet but you know what i had fun um and sometimes that's what really matters but on the other hand i got to go to one of my my favorite water or not my favorite but the big water park here in Oklahoma City opened up, Whitewater Bay, and I went there Sunday uh, from Sunday morning from 11 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time because they've got this giant tower that was kind of my nemesis the last time I was there. I was only able to make it up the tower twice because simply I don't, you know, when you're 300 300 plus pounds you know walking up a tower that is what is that thing a couple of hundred feet it seems like tall that you know maybe a hundred feet a couple hundred feet whatever you know you, you only have so much lake power you can only do so much this time i've been looking forward to this i've been doing the stair stepper i've lost 85 pounds you know i was like i am gonna go up that thing I ended up going up that thing seven times, and that was a big accomplishment for me. I could have gone up the more, but um, they have this. I had video of it. I had, you know, I had a bunch of video of it and stuff, but I ended up losing all that video. Um, I had, you know, great things planned. I had a video of me at the park and stuff, just having a good time. Uh, I ended up going up, going by myself this time around and it was very very relaxing but seven times I went up I'm, I mean this place has got a ton of stairs everything's got stairs so it was really nice being able to make it up all those stairs without a problem um, on the, about the sixth and seventh time of going up the main tower you know I could start to feel the burn in, in my legs and stuff but that was cool I've got a major major sunburn I don't know if I can show you guys this there's part of it around my neck and my shoulders. Around, around my neck and my shoulders and stuff. I was wearing a tank top. But it was freaking awesome. It really was. Um, to be able to make it up that thing and just have a good time. Um, I went, went down their main slide, which is that slide like you lay back and you cross your arms and your feet and you drop off the thing. And I went, I went down that five times and my back is so raw I mean my I have no sunburn in my lower back but my lower back and my butt hurt so bad the muscles are just so sore from doing that from slapping the water at the bottom of that thing uh, it is absolutely amazing 
uh, kind of I kind of look at it as a good pain. But when I when I was there, you know, I hadn't been there in many many years, and it was one of those things. There's you can really see what's going on in America today by going to a water park, by trying by kind of comparing. You know, I'm a big guy. I mean, that's evident. That's why I'm trying to lose weight and stuff. Uh, that's why I've lost so much weight. It's because I, I got tired of being, you know, one of those ob big obese people. And you go to a water park and just sit there and look around and watch people. Because I had time to do that, you know. I'd, it's one of the reasons why my diet's my diet got screwed up is because we got meal passes. I get free food going in there. I get I have free parking free entry into the park um, I get two free meals and a, and a free snack and all the free drinks I mean we spent the money we got all that stuff so I'm, I'm going to use it um, but when I was just sitting there taking a break I was eat, eating a cheeseburger and I was just watching people and I was like you know the last time I was here I don't remember this many big people and I gotta say the big you know the big people like me were outnumbered the actual skinny people and it was very surprising to me because it's not the way it used to be uh, it, it made it very evident that you know to me that if you really want to see the problem that we have in America with obesity go to a water park and just sit there and watch people uh, I did see a glimmer of hope when I was in line. When I was in line for my food, you know, there there was a young couple in front of me, probably in the early 20s. Um, the guy was skinny. The girl was obviously overweight, and she ordered a cheeseburger without a bun and no fries. So I knew exactly what she was doing. You know, she's obviously doing a keto style diet or a low carb diet of some kind, and. I kind of sat back and thought there, there's a glimmer of hope because there's people out there that are, you know, obviously trying to make a change that is, you know, trying to do better for themselves. So that that actually made me pretty happy. Um, but it was one of those things that it just kind of it kind of opened my eyes because, you know, you see it, you see this stuff at work, you see it in public, but you don't truly see it until you go to a water park and everybody's in a swimsuit. And with their shirts off and stuff. I mean, it is, you know, it's kind of heartbreaking, but at the same time, it, it's kind of an eye opener. Um, and through all of this, and my phone, screw my phone screwing up, and everything that's going on, um, I am going to go straight back into going uh, into my normal routine. Um, I'm going to be going to the water park almost every week so that's going to be a major workout day for me because stairs lots and lots and lots of stairs you wear yourself completely out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start back on my normal food videos first thing in the morning um, I've, I'm going to go ahead and start working out at home I'm going to go ahead I don't have everything I want but I'm going to go ahead and start doing some doing a walking uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk for a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, and then I'm going to start doing some jogging and some sprinting and stuff um, after, after that. So I'm just going to go ahead and go straight into it. Um, I liked being active at that park. That was really, really cool to me to actually be able to be active, to run upstairs. I mean, at one point, I ran up the stairs all the way up that freaking tower, and that was like one of the coolest things for me is because I'm actually able to do that. So... I'm just going to go straight into it. I feel great, and I'm going to go ahead and start refueling my body right. Um, it's going to be a great summer. It's going to be a very, very active summer for me, and I want to take you guys along for that ride. So um, I'm just going to go from here and just start becoming as active as humanly possible. So I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Hopefully my phone will last, and I won't have to buy another one. We'll see what happens. But we'll go from here and see what happens, and we'll have some fun with it this summer. Stick around.